beautiful people, welcome back. Welcome to a declutter video that is going to be completely different than um, any other declutter video that you'll probably ever see from me. Uh, well, I don't know, maybe, who knows? You guys can tell me down below. But normally for videos like this, um, it's just like you guys are from my point of view and you're just looking at the product, like I'm not even on screen. But going into this video, it occurred to me, um, I would actually have to take this camera, I'd have to reset it up, I'd have to clean this desk, which, <laughs> okay, we all know that's not gonna happen. And it just occurred to me like, Paige, wh why not just like show them like 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 you would any other product. I know, crazy idea. And uh, why not just try it this way? So that we're going to try it. You guys can tell me what you think, if you like it, if you don't care, whatever. Leave me all of your thoughts down below. That is number one. And then also number two, something different about this video is that we are going to be doing this um, as more of a mixed in type declutter. So we have a little bit of everything. We have some sprays, we have some eyeshadows, highlighters, blushes, uh, blushes. I think, I don't know, honestly, there's just something, there's some kind of shit in here for everybody. Um, so if that's your thing, we've actually even got some like big old palette situations like all in one kind of palettes and uh, yeah we're gonna be just decluttering a little bit of everything I'll give you a brief rundown of why I'm decluttering and just so you guys know too going into this um j just because there's makeup in this video that you know I'm obviously decluttering it doesn't mean that this is a fail video you know not everything that I'm getting rid of is because it's necessarily a fail or because I hate it which <laughs> don't get me wrong there is plenty of that and I will definitely tell you and I, I have some very very strong thoughts and opinions but I just wanted to put that out here just at the start so you guys know um kind of what you're getting into because this does look so different from a normal declutter it, it looks more like a fails video because my fails videos show my face and I'm all ah, and you know that, that's just who I am and this one is gonna look more like that but again it doesn't mean that everything is a fail it just means that we're gonna we're gonna talk about it okay we're gonna talk about it we're gonna be brief because I talk a lot of course really quick before we get into the video I do like to pause no matter how long I think the video is gonna be okay I like to pause and I want to introduce myself for anybody that might be new here my name is Paige this is Seeking Alexandria again welcome to the channel I do put up three new videos a week Monday Wednesday Friday right around 7 7 30 ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan so you have bright early morning uploads and then also if you haven't done so yet I would greatly greatly appreciate it if you would take a second and go follow me over on Instagram because I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers over there and that is by far my favorite favorite social media platform um, I post everything over there I do my IG stories like all day every day we open up PR we open up regular boxes we hang out in the office we take walks together we talk about my dog because she's really cute and uh, yeah that's, that's just kind of where we live the behind the scenes you know day to day life. And then also in the feed of Instagram, I've been really, really updating my content over there and doing a ton of work. We have makeup IGTV videos, makeup reels, makeup tutorials, mini makeup reviews. We have um, makeup inspo photos, plus size fashion, regular photography stuff. And just overall, it's kind of a fun place for you guys to kind of see all of the things that I love about beauty and fashion and putting it all together. So like I said, you know, everything is linked down below if you want to check it out um, in the description. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And with that, let's go ahead and let's get into our first couple of items because I'm looking at the top of this box and I am ready, okay? I am ready because a couple of the items on the top I do not like it at all. Okay, so let's get started with a highlighter uh, little trio. Yeah, trio. Um, I had to take a peek. Uh, but let's get started with this one because I know I've talked about this before in another fails video or something like a long time ago. And this highlighter, like I, I feel like other people love this and they just think it is amazing and blinding and great. And I feel like I am the only person <laughs> that hates this highlighter and that is the glow highlighter from glam glow this little three panner right here and i don't know if it's just a me thing like i don't know if it's just mine but it feels so like thick and chalky on my skin like it looks beautiful i mean if you just swatch it out it's like wow Paige, what's wrong with you but for some reason on my skin this looks absolutely awful every single time and it, do it doesn't make any sense to me because again texturally speaking it is very soft and it's smooth but for me it's just it does not work so i'm gonna to give this to somebody that I actually know in my head. I know that she's going to love it um, because it is beautiful and it'll work and they'll probably, knowing them because they're more neutral, um, they'll probably pop these ones on the eyes, which I also love to do and then use a mixture of these for the face. I want to hear from you guys down below on this as well, by the way. Um, I want to know, do you like this palette? Did you buy it? Did it work for you? Or are you more like me and you were just like, ugh, not a fan? Because I, I, again, I feel like I've seen so many people talk about this. They love it. They rave it. Um, and I just, I am not <laughs> one of those people. Like I've never been been able to get behind this and it kills me because it's so cute and I love the packaging but like I'm not gonna let it sit in my drawer and be cute just for packaging I mean I would do that but I'm not going to but I would uh, because I love packaging right, so next up let's just have a conversation about this busty crusty little palette this is from makeup revolution and this is you guys know there's gonna be makeup revolution in here right of course um this is their redemption eyeshadow palette in iconic one and this palette I don't know what it is for me but it just it sucks okay the color story 
is so bland. Like when I saw this on the internet, I distinctly remember being like, oh, like, okay. Like maybe I could get behind this. Like it's, it's not awful. <gasps> okay, so obviously not a big fan of her. She just tried to openly attack me. You saw her. Um, but this pal, oh God, it won't even go back in here. Why? Anyways, okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna clench and shut here. Um, this palette is absolutely awful. I don't like the pigmentation. I don't like the fact that these darker shades down here, they all blend together. They all end up looking like the same shade of ugly ass, like nasty pukey brown. And they, uh, they don't want to blend, especially these darker two shades right here. There's like these two deep blues and they're not good either. So this for me, definitely a pass. Actually, well, I shouldn't say every shade. Um, there's this really light shade right here, the lightest matte shade in the palette. And that shade out of all of them wasn't awful. Okay. If, if that's a redeeming quality, if you want to buy it for that one light matte shade, you can go right ahead. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a pass. It's no good. No, thank you. Next up, we have an item from one of my favorite brands, but y'all know, okay, I tell the truth. I've talked about this before and it's just finally leaving. Like I had it in my collection because I thought I could fall in love with it. I really thought I could make this work for me and I could not. So I am here to say my final farewell to the Catrice HD Baking and Setting Loose Powder. This is, uh, this is in the shade uh, CO2 Warm Ivory and it is supposed to be mattifying, water resistant and give you a second skin effect and it doesn't do any of those things. It is absolutely awful. It makes my under eyes look horribly dry. Like I'm talking thick, cakey, nasty, Sahara ass dry. And that is when it's not, you know, completely stripping the, the concealer from under my eyes. Like literally, whoo, I go to wipe away my powder, just whoop. And well, there went the coverage, there went the concealer, uh, because this is, it's just awful. Like there, I, I tried using this so many times, even on like my face, just to like, you know, maybe, you know, cut like a little, little bronzer situation, maybe make myself look snatched. And it doesn't snatch shit. Okay. If anything, I mean, it snatches it, like it takes it away. Um, but other than that, this is just, you, you don't need this in your life. It's it's not good. I, I love Catrice, again, as a brand. Amazing. Um, but this this ain't it sis. So next up you guys we're going to talk about another drugstore brand which I promise I'm not picking on them. I've got everything in here drugstore high end everything in between but this from Physicians Formula this spray it's their rosé all day illuminating setting spray lots of rhyming uh, you know I can always appreciate a good rhyme but this spray and I've talked about it before it is so freaking egregious the freaking there is straight up glitter in this like the bottom of it if you look at it it looks like a solid gold bar uh, yeah that's because it's all just compacted glitter like just a thick layer of all awful ass glitter. And when you spray this, it literally, poof, it glitter cannons you like you're at a Kesha concert. And it is absolutely unnecessary. Like there is, there is nothing about this spray that I'm just like, oh, it's a little glittery, but like, no bitch, there is no, but okay. It's just a lot of bit glittery and it's, it's a gl glitterly. Okay. And it is just absolutely awful. And again, not going to spend a lot of time because I know I've been here before, but this spray, I just, I, I cannot get behind it. All right. So next up, we're getting rid of this palette. This is the Picante palette from Carity. And this this one I purchased a long time ago, like right when it first launched. And I'm finally uh, decluttering this one because the quality of the shadows for me just wasn't up to par. I didn't find that these bottom two rows right here, especially in the darker side of it, um, that those blended nearly as well as I expected them to. Like they were very patchy for me. They just, they didn't, um, they just didn't perform with the same amount of vigor that I'm, that I was used to. And even though, you know, like these shades up here, the shimmer shades, those performed really nicely. This shade is actually beautiful. The shade Embers, it's like a bright yellow shimmer. Those are really nice. But uh, overall for me, this palette, it just, it doesn't perform in the way that I need it to. But I do know of somebody actually that uh, really does like this one. They saw it in my collection before and they said that they would really like it. All right, you guys. So let's talk about another one that I can't stand. And I have tried to make this work despite knowing that it will never work ever a day in my life. And that is the e.l.f. face and eye gloss. These are... <laughs> absolutely horrible. Um, if you have no idea what these are, okay, this was a part of their Jelly Pop collection, which, oh my, look, oh my sweet baby, Lordy Jesus up above. Ugh, it's so gross. Um, this is, look at that, okay? No, I'm sorry. I don't want to put anything on my face with that texture. No, thank you. Um, this is basically, well, as the name would suggest, a sticky ass, look at this, a sticky as gloss <laughs> that's supposed to go on your eyes and your face. And I, I'm telling you, oh my, why, Paige, why would you put that on your hand? Put the lid back on. Ugh, when I, this stuff is so awful. Like the texture of it. Um, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it could work. It, well, no, it really could. I was going to say you could put it out as a gloss, but don't do it. Okay. Don't do it. It's not good. Um, I would recommend any other dollar gloss over this crap for anything. Um, but yeah, this is just awful. It's really sticky. You're supposed to be able to put it on like your face, your eyes, and it's supposed to give 
give you like a look, but all it does is like really clump and everything together, everything settles into it. And it's just, it's really, really not good. All right, so next up we have two items from Revlon that we're decluttering. This one right here is the 302 Glitz Bomb Highlighter. And for me, first of all, it's too dark. <laughs> the, the, the shade itself, I swatched it right there, um, which I don't even know if you can see because not only is it too dark, it's very, very underwhelming as a highlighter. Um, the texture of it is very like chalky, very thick like. It doesn't really settle into the skin. And so it's just been a powder that for me, or a highlighter rather for me, that I just, I've never been able to use because even if it was my tone, I still hate the texture. It still looks bad. It builds up on my cheek and just, it doesn't look good. And then also from Revlon, I'm decluttering this little eyeshadow palette. This is their color charge shadow palette. And I just, I don't like it. It doesn't, it doesn't really do anything for me. Um, I always found the, the shades themselves like individually were kind of fun, but as far as a palette goes, it's just not very cohesive. It's very all over the place. And in terms of creating a look with it, I just, I don't really enjoy creating with it. Like again, it, again, it just doesn't really call to me. It's just so you guys know too, none of this is actually getting thrown away. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but it is all going to like homes of people, people that I know, people that, um, would, would just love to test it out. Love to see if it's any good. Um, so, you know, just wanted to put that out there just so you guys know it's not, it's not getting thrown away. I don't, I don't like to waste makeup if I can help it at all. I try to always give it to somebody else, somebody that either wants to test it or will test it or is interested. Um, and so, yeah, I, I always try to do that just kind of in my, my little area that I'm in. Um, uh, but just, just so you guys know, it's not getting thrown away. I just want to, just want to put that out there in case you're like, girl, you throwing all this away? No. Okay. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay. So next up, I'm actually decluttering this little guy from Essence. This is is the Get Your Glitter On Glitter Primer. And I'm decluttering this one because for me, and I wanted to mention this specifically because I always talk about in like every single video, I talk about my NYX Glitter Glue. And this is a fantastic, fantastic glitter primer. I love it. I always have one on my desk in front of me. I use it every single day and I always have a backup. Um, and this is like super affordable. It's like six or $7. I'll link it down below. It's very, very good. But I'm linking, or but I'm talking about this one today from Essence because I just wanted to let you guys know I've had some questions questions and uh, on this glitter primer specifically because it is a little bit cheaper than that one and I just wanted to let you guys know this is not the same it doesn't work even close to as good um this for me is just it, it's a it's a mess all over the place I feel like it's more or less just a light tacky base and it really doesn't give me like that grip and the staying power that I need from an actual glitter glue so I'm just gonna obviously declutter it but just so you guys know if you are looking for one stick with the NYX it's really good very long lasting highly effective fantastic Fantastic. Okay, so next up here we have a highlighter, and this is one that I don't know that they even still sell, but this is from Ulta, and this is their Yellow Diamond Illuminator, and it's just not good. <laughs> like, the texture of it, it feels really soft, and it looks like it's gonna have, you know, some kind of reflect, but very similar to the Revlon one, this actually has more of just, like, a straight powdery finish to it, and it almost leaves more of, like, a, like a silky, chalky residue more than it does, like, that highlighting sheen to it, and uh, I I've tried using it multiple ways, because I kept thinking maybe I could like press it in with a sponge and uh, no, nothing that I did ever worked. So I'm definitely decluttering her. All right, so next up, we're getting rid of this uh, or this uh, thing from ColourPop. I'm trying to get a swatch of it so I could show you. And it's so bad that I can't, can't even get a swatch of it. But this is the ColourPop. It's one of their highlighters and it just has a universal sticker. So it doesn't tell me which shade, of course. But um, yeah, it's not good. I don't know. And you can even actually see right there like how hard the pan is, how it's just like pressed in there. Um, for some reason, this shade, it's just more of like um like a really 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 intensely pressed glitter and it doesn't work for anything like you can't really mix it with a blush you can't turn it into a highlight and the texture of it is just very very <laughs> undesirable and the the payoff is awful right so here's one that i have held on to it's from tarte okay and i've held on to this for so freaking long you guys this is one of their um eyeshadow palette collections i was looking on the back to see if it had the name but of course it doesn't but this is from their i want to say it was like their holiday behind I'm a holiday something collection and they came out with this ugh, at least two years ago, maybe. Um, I did a full review on it anyways when it launched uh, way back when, and I'm getting rid of this palette. Be oh my god, how cute is this little pineapple, though? Like, I, I almost plucked the pineapple off and kept it, because I thought it was really, really cute. It just says tart on it. I don't, I don't know why. I just think this packaging is just, like, gaudy and adorable in all the right ways. And I'm getting rid of this one because, um, which, by the way, I actually went and made sure to put in um, a little combo here, because I'm going to be uh, gifting this to a little girl that I know, and uh, she's going to freaking love it. So I wanted to make sure it had some things over here.
here in it. So, you know, she's got like a little lip thing that she can play with. Um, but anyways, I'm getting rid of this because it just, truthfully, it takes up too much room. It's very, very thick. I don't know if you can see, but uh, it's like three inches thick. And just overall, it's very, very cumbersome. Like I said, it's really cute. But if you're someone like me that, you know, you store all of your makeup and you put it away, it just takes up a lot of space. And truthfully, it's nothing, um, it's just nothing that I need to have in my collection. It's not overly, you know, like reinvented. And uh, as far as the actual quality goes, it is okay. These ones right here are um, blushes and then there's a highlight right there and then obviously eyeshadows and all the little added products. Um, and as far as these go, like they're okay. I don't think this is Tarte's like best, most amazing formula. All right, so next up we have a shadow palette here. This is from Makeup Obsession and this is their All We Have Is Now eyeshadow palette. And I am decluttering this. Actually, it has a really nice component to it. I love that it has a mirror. But uh, this formula for me, it just wasn't very impressive. It's very neutral. It's very much so the, the neutral with a pop of blue. Like if you were to cover up the blues, you know, that's basically what you'd have. What I found with this one, um, similar with like Makeup Revolution and the other ones, is that the the quality of the shades went down as the, the depth of the shade got darker. And so for me, it just was one of those ones where I don't need to keep it just for a couple of shades that really aren't revolutionary. And uh, I know it'll be a good like day in, day out makeup palette for somebody else. Next up from NYX, we have the High Glass Finishing Powder. And this one I don't like just because I did do a swatch, by the way, but it, it makes me look really, really weird <laughs> whenever I use it because not only um, like the texture of it is too thick, it really emphasizes all of my texture on my cheeks. But for me, what I found with this is that it was kind of confusing. It, it kind of straddled between being a highlighter and being a finishing powder because as a highlighter, it wasn't very good. Again, it emphasized texture and, and whatnot. But even as a finishing powder, which is technically what it's called, it had too much shimmer and it was too heavy. Like the texture of it was just too thick. And so what I found is that whenever I would apply this, you know, all over my face or just to smooth out, you know, my, my skin like you would with a finishing powder, um, this one kind of highlighted me and made me look like a like a big old light bulb. And this, it just really wasn't my thing. So I figured I would uh, pass this along maybe to somebody that likes more of a demure highlight, like a day in, day out kind of thing. Because for me, it's it's a no. Okay, so next up, we're getting rid of this. This I believe I got in a boxy charm. This is the Figs in Rouge, I think is what that says. Soft Focus Pore Perfect HD and Matte Veil Hydra Pore Primer. Wow. And uh, I'm getting rid of this because I'm just too oily. <laughs> like I just, I have way too much oily in my T-zone. I remember back when this one came in, um, this was, this, was, this was, might've been a little while ago. This one might be expired. Um, but I do remember a lot of people really enjoying this, like the texture of it, because it is more of like a, a light matte, you know, hydrating kind of feeling on the skin. Like it, it kind of straddles that line. Um, and the consistency of it is actually really light. So it was good for people that didn't have too much oil and that just wanted that light smoothing. But for me, <laughs> girl, that is not me. Okay. I need like all the thickness. I need, I need all the smoothing, but I also need like all the mattification because this right here is like a landing strip for oil. It's like beep, beep coming through. There's an egg about to fry down this nose. And uh, yeah, this, this just isn't, it does not work for me. It's not aggressive. Okay. Like I need that aggression for this mattification. And along those same lines, actually, this was also from a boxy charm. This is the glassy touch in soul, pretty filter, glassy skin balm. And I actually did use this in a video. I want to say and it actually smells kind of nice. Um, I used this in a video a few times and it does have a really, really beautiful, um, like lotion-y kind of consistency. And what I liked about this product, because it actually isn't bad, like to use it to apply it even under makeup, it looks really pretty. Um, but what I like about it is that when you're working it onto the skin, it has more of like this beautiful kind of glossy texture. It really does um, settle in nicely. Like it doesn't leave you feeling thick or goopy on the surface of your skin. But for me, the reason that I can't use this is just because like I said before, I'm too oily. When I first apply it with my foundation and stuff, it does look nice. But as the day goes on, it really does hinder the wear of my makeup just because I'm so oily. Um, so I'm going to pass this along actually to my friend who has drier skin. And I think that she's really going to like it because we, she does more of like a tinted cream kind of thing. And underneath of that, um, this will actually look really beautiful. It's going to give her a nice amount of lilt, a nice amount of shine. Um, and it's not going to, not going to, you know, interfere with her oil because she doesn't have any. Okay. So next up, I'm getting rid of one from Revolution. Revolution Pro. This is their Glass Skin Primer, and it's supposed to give you an ultimate dewy finish. Now, you might be asking yourself, Paige, if you have matte skin, why the hell, or I'm sorry, if you need matte skin, why the hell were you picking this up? And I actually bought this primer back, this was several months ago, when my skin was going through this weird transition where it was actually more combo leaning, slightly dry, um, as opposed to right now, which is combo leaning more, uh, leaning more oily. And it was so interesting because even when I needed this type of a product, like I really could actually 
use that hydration, that dewiness on the skin. Um, my skin absolutely hated this, <laughs> and it didn't do, like, really much of anything for me. It was more so just, like, a weird mixture of, like, that goopy, globby, like, glycerin-type deal, and I never really felt like I got much of a prolonged effect from it. I'm actually gonna pass this along to the same friend that, uh, that has the dry skin, because I'm very curious to know if this actually does work for, like, dry, dry skin, or if it was just, like, a me thing, or may maybe it really just doesn't work in general, and I was right all along, who knows, but, yeah, I'm gonna pass this along, because dry skin page, oily skin page, whoever page, like, she just, she just don't like this. It don't work. Okay, so I feel like at this point, I'm starting to get into some other products that I talked about more recently, um, so I'm just gonna buzz by them. This is also from Revolution. This is their, um, their version of the Pore Perfecting Primer, or the Poreless Putty Primer that, uh, Tatcha and Elf both came out with, and the consistency of this doesn't work. It's not good. It's very, like, texturally thin, very unappealing. It really just doesn't have the one thing that you have to have to be, like, a successful poreless primer, and that is the thickness. Like, it doesn't really have, like, that good, really fill in, get stuck in the pores and smooth everything out. It doesn't have that. It's just too thin, and it just, yeah, it doesn't work. It's not good. I don't like it, and it, I don't like it. Next up, I'm getting rid of this one from Catrice. This is their Light Correcting Serum Primer, and uh, it's supposed to be one that has, like, little, like, a pearlescent glow to it. You use it as a primer, and uh, it's supposed to give you that, like, lit from within kind of glowy radiance under your foundation. And I'm only getting rid of this one because for some reason, the, um, the, the shimmer that it has to it, I don't know what it is, uh, because I've obviously used, like, other, you know, shimmery type bases and never had a problem, but for some reason, this one, the shimmer in it, maybe it's too large, but it emphasizes all of my texture, like, right in this area, and it's so bad to wear, like, when I apply my foundation and I go throughout my day, I actually notice all of my texture and my pores being more noticeable as the day progresses, and, uh, I, so for me, it just doesn't work because of that emphasizing factor, and no matter what I've done, you know, using it, because I've tried using this several times, it's actually down to about here, because I really do like the glow, I think it's super duper beautiful, but on my, like, texture, my pores, whatever, it just doesn't work. Okay, and then the last item I have in the box is actually this unopened primer from Tarte. This is their base tape hydrating primer, it looks like this, and I believe I got this in a boxy charm, and uh, I didn't want to open it, because for me, it is too hydrating, like, like I've said a thousand times, I need it to be a little bit more matte, but I do know that it is actually a decent primer. It gives you good um, hydration. I would say more so like on the planes of the face. I don't think this is something I would recommend for um, smoothing or pore filling or anything like that, even though it does say on the back it can smooth the appearance of your pores and fine lines and whatnot. That's just, I didn't really have that experience, but I do, I, or I can speak to the fact that it gives you nice like all over hydration, and uh, I just, I didn't want to open it because, you know, for obvious reasons, I, I want it to stay fresh for as long as possible, and I figure if I know it's not going to work for me, why not give it to somebody that it can work for and see what they think. All right, you guys, with that, we are officially at the end of the video, and I want to hear from you all down below in the comments on this because I have a couple of questions. So first of all, the products. What do you think? Did you try them? Did you like them? Did you not? Like, what, was there something in here that I decluttered that you're like, <gasps> my holy grail, oh my God, please no? Or were you just like, yes, bitch, that it was so awful, I hated it so much, like, please get rid of it? Um, so what are your thoughts on the products and, and that whole thing, number one? And then also, number two, what are your thoughts on the style of the video? Like I said, I did it a little different. Um, I kind of mixed up the products. We had a little bit of uh, something for everybody. So do you like it? Do you like the amount of products? Do you like this style? And uh, most importantly, do you want to see more of them? You know, just kind of give me all of your encompassing thoughts down below in the comments. Because um, as always, I like to hear from you guys. I like to get the feedback. Of course, like I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, which I would really appreciate. And everything will be linked down below as far as what I am wearing, um, you know, earrings uh, that well, you can't even see them. Hello, they're real cute. Um, but earrings, necklace, sweater, the whole bit. I will have it all linked down below, except for this t-shirt, which is um, kind of from, uh, where the hell did I get this thing? It was like from TJ Maxx or something. It was like $5 on clearance, and I bought it because it has, while we're here, it has these really adorable little lace-up freaking arms, and I thought it was so cute. I bought it out um, in Colorado when I went a year ago, and it was just super cute, and then I put this little cardigan over it from Nordstrom's, and if this is available, I will link it down below because I love it so much. The moral of the story here is that I will have everything I can linked for you down below, and uh, I did not film this look, so if, if you're wondering where it is, Paige, can we watch this? No, okay, I, we, you, you can't because I didn't film it. I was just hanging out watching YouTube and I just talked about this. By the way, I did a video um, on the Ulta Black Friday sale. If you want to check that out, I'll link it up here. But I just got done filming that as well and I mentioned it there um, that, yeah, I, I didn't film this. I was watching YouTube just hanging out and then afterwards I got all ready and I was like, ooh, I kind of love this look. I did it with the new um, Lunar Beauty palette. Manny sent me this. It's the Eternal Eclipse and it is so freaking beautiful. This is my first 
first time playing with it. And um, yeah, it's, it's really great. I love the palette. I'm also wearing his liquid lip and gloss on, uh, on my lips right now as well. And it's just super beautiful. The collection is so gorgeous. And uh, I don't know what came over me. Like I'm just sitting here playing with it, having a good time. And I got all done and I was like, well, mm, shit, that was a big mistake. Paige, you, prob you probably should have filmed this. Anyways, you guys, that is it. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you all have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. My face hurts. My face hurts so bad. Yeah. So good. It's actually really good. A little bit a lot flat, but that's okay. Paige, beggars can't be choosers. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe if this one car could stop like driving back and forth. <laughs> Up and down. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Like, do you have anywhere else to be? For the love of God, go home. Eat a lasagna. Do something. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs>